Hey, good morning. Um, this morning is a little bit different as I am preparing to go down to uh, Texas to visit my mom who has been um, on a kind of a spiral downhill with her health and I felt it was important for me to visit her. But it's caused me to be a little bit more reflective uh, maybe about life and, and even death. And I was uh, kind of encouraged by other members of our congregation who have also been facing, what do I say? What do I do when someone I care for uh, or someone who I just know in passing, but who is going through uh, that passage from life to death? What are the what are some gifts that I could have with them? And I think the first most important gift anyone can offer is not assume that you know all the answers. I guarantee you, I don't have all the answers. And I have plenty of questions, by the way. But one thing that we can do is just offer some solace. Uh, it's, the, it's the listening piece that's so important for us. And if you ever need resources for that, uh, or for prayers, you can always come to me and ask me uh, for them. And I, I'm sure I can find some things that you can use. But I thought about this. This is, you know, we pastors are trained and we get all these wonderful um, tools. And one of them is uh, the book on pastoral care. And so they have different situations that you can can speak to when you are meeting people. And this one is when life-sustaining care is ended. It's at the very end. My mother's not there yet, but I know that's coming, and I may not be there when, when she needs this word. So, But one of the things you can do is uh, start with uh, just a, a prayer. And so this is the prayer that we could use, and or a similar prayer. And that is, O oh God, our Creator and Sustainer, receive our prayers for this person. We thank you for the gifts of love and companionship that this person has shared with us. Give us grace now to accept our limitations as we commend them to your merciful care. Strengthen us in this time of trial. Help us to continue to serve and care for one another through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. I like the idea that we ask God to help us in times of trouble especially when we want to be caregivers. That's not always something that comes easily for us. So we ask for God's care and keeping in that. And then always uh, words of, of scripture come to mind. And, you know, I, I think that most people kind of feel at the end of life, I hear this repeated, echoed many times. You know, I, you know, is God going to be merciful to me? You know, what? You know, I've not been a good person. And most of us come to that conclusion pretty quickly. That's that's not one we can avoid. I turn often to this text from Romans because I think it's it's the strongest text and the strongest argument that Paul puts out there in, in all of Scripture. And that's that Romans 8 text. And, and so this would be one of those I would go to often. Uh, Romans 8, uh, verse 35. Who will separate us from the love of Christ? Well, hardship or distress, persecution, famine, nakedness, peril or sword. No, in all these things, we are still more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I'm convinced that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all of creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. There is something to know that God's love and his care is not dependent on something we've done. That these things can't separate us from, from God. God has made a decision for us, for us in Christ Jesus. And that decision has a finality to it. Nothing in all of creation, in other words, nothing we experience in this life can somehow cause God <laughs> to not love us because he's already done everything to prove that to us in Christ. And so 
I think that's kind of like the bottom line. No mom, no friend, no whatever. Your your God is a God who has loved you from the beginning, and he's not changing his mind about you. So just an encouragement this week for those of you who know people are going through difficult times. Find a way to speak that unconditional peace of God's love to those you care about. That's the one thing they need to cling to. It's the one thing they're looking for and probably can't hear it. And they maybe need your face and your voice and your words to bring that message to them. I encourage you to take care. Be of good cheer. God will be with you even as you deal with these things. And then a final prayer that I think is, is helpful for us as well is a kind of ascending. Faithful God, give com comfort and strength to this person as he or she follows Christ in the path that is now set before them. Give wisdom and faithfulness to all who are companions along this way that we may journey beside our loved one, watch and wait with him or her, and with your help bear witness by your presence and prayers to the love of Jesus Christ, your Son, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Peace be with all of you this week. Amen.